I'm very glad to welcome Marco Berger, whose movie Our Center is screaming at the Berlin Festival this year. Yes. And well, you just arrived yesterday, you told me, and um, you just had the first impressions on the festival. What, what are your first impressions on it? How do you like it so far? I don't know. I know the festival from a long time ago, and I think it's very big and just impressed me the, okay. the, the, all the place in Berlin with the the posters and everything. Okay. So, but I was just one day, so I don't know. Hmm. But you're looking forward to exploring the city a bit more yes, and yes, uh, the Berlinale. Yes. All right. And your movie Our Center is screening this year at the festival. Yes, in Last Forum. Year. Hmm? Yeah, in Forum. Yes. Last year, your movie Plan B was a very big success in the cinemas. Okay, maybe. I don't at know. least it was in in Europe. Yeah, I had yeah. the feeling. Yeah. And. Well, I have to say I had the feeling that you had sort of the same aesthetical approach in both both movies. Yes. I don't know. You, yes. So can you say something about that? What was I the think approach the aesthetic, about? And it's in, in a way it's a, it's a film I made. So it's the same way I, 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 I choose to tell to, to tell both stories. Maybe the difference between Plan B and Ausente is that Plan B it's a comedy and Ausente I, I choose a thriller. Mm -hmm. for telling the story but it's, it's uh, the way I look the way I see things that's why maybe you think it's the, it's the same mm -hmm. in a way yeah the way you look and also the colors I had the feeling that you sort of like red and blue I don't know if I was no maybe mm -hmm. in plan B it was more colorful actually in plan B I, I used to to pick like yellow green red uh, a lot like mm -hmm. full color in absent in a way it's just blue and red. Mm -hmm. Most of the film is in blue, and some things are in red. Because I, I wanted to 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 tell this uh, this cold situation between mm. these two boys. Because it's not Plan B. It's not love growing yeah. up. It's just a, a scary situation growing up between them. That's why it's it's supposed to be cold. It's supposed to be, yeah, cold. And the red things is maybe the. The kind of love the, the the boy feels sometimes during the, mo the movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one gets the feeling that it is about desire that is not fulfilled during the whole movie, and that builds up a lot of tension, or at least it did yes. in me. And I actually really liked that that both movies were quite different, and that the other one had so much tension in it that you were really in the story. And I wonder, how did you come up with this story? I wanted to, to speak about the desire of the, in the beginning, the very early beginning, the desire of the, the children, the boys, because when you are not a grown up, maybe when, when you are 10, 11, you feel desire for, for grown up people, but nobody talks about. So in the beginning, this was a short film about mm -hmm. a boy that it was 12 and one night overnight with this cousin and he was 18. So he, he tried to, to do something. And then this, that become a, a, a screenplay for a, for a future film. And I prefer to put it in a school because of the danger of the situation of the school and also not so much, not, not so small, because I, want, I, I wanted also to talk about the desire, but the, the law, you know, because if the boy of 16 says, he touched me, the, profer, the professor is in very, very much problem. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I, I changed this, but the story became from from a short film in the beginning. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it also is about power between these two people in the movie, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. The the boy actually threatens the man in the end, and yeah. Yeah, because the it's I, I don't know in in this situation when a grown up and a and a boy are together. Of course, it's, it's illegal, and of course, it's always all the, money, all the people looking to the adult. But sometimes you have to think the the boys are also allowed to to desire. That's why I, I I wanted to make this this story, and I wanted to change always the the adult. It's that it's the person like like try to to do something with a boy. In this case, it's a boy like knows 
the the power he have because being a boy and try to 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 use this power to fuck up the the teacher. Mm. And do you sell, do you see yourself in a history of queer films by making queer films? Because I had the feeling that this topic of a school with a lot of boys is sort of a homoerotic topic that appears yeah. quite often in such movies. Do you see yourself in a... I don't really know. It's, it's because I, I, I don't know so much. I, I have seen a lot of uh, gay movies, but maybe Broadwalk Mountain and I don't know. But I don't know like the gay movies for gay people like this kind of movies. I don't really know. I don't know so much to tell. Okay, maybe the, my movie it's similar to this one or that one. I think I'm, I'm going to be in a kind of history of the, of the queer movies because I I make queer films. So in a way I am in the, in the same uh, place. But I always prefer to think I make movies. And then I choose the subject or, or, the, or the way I want to, to tell it. And I, I, I choose to tell stories I know. And as I'm gay, I, I tell stories about when I was a teenager, my desires when I was a teenager, or in plan B, when I was not heterosexual, but when I, when I had feelings for, for boys, but I was with girls. So all the situations I know, all the situations I, I, have, to, I have to go through in my life, I put in my stories. So you would say that your movies also always are personal movies? Yes, in a way. Yes, it's not my story, but it's the way I know the world, the, the, the way I see the world, all the problems, all the, the, the things that happened to me that, that made, I don't know, when you grow up and you are gay and all the world is, is turned around, you, you think a lot. So I think all this process that I, I, I made in my mind came in the movies. I don't know what is going to happen. I, I really like the, the stories between two men, but I don't know if I'm going to make all my life films about that. I, I'm, I'm, I don't know. Hmm. I have to say, I find your movies quite unique. As I said, okay, I had the feeling that much. I had the feeling that you can see the same aesthetical approach, and that you sort of also that you already have your way of shooting movies. Okay. Um, w would you find it challenging to make a movie about heterosexuals or a heterosexual love relationship? A challenge? I don't know. I have a script about. Uh, I like problems always. <laughs> I have a script now, and it's between a, a boy. Uh, and a girl that like, like they are brothers mm -hmm. and they are kind of in love so I know I like I like to to tell about the yeah the problems the psychology of the people and I like to to show I prefer to show men and boys and bodies and all the things I don't know if you go to any any place in Buenos Aires or in the world all the cover the magazines everything is like Bats of the girls and faces of the girls. It's like I love that, but it's all the all the seas are on the on the girls. So I, I just want to to show the other side. Like maybe for me, it's exciting a, a, a hairy arm, and you say, what is that exciting about? But you can shoot it. You can show the yes, the the, the other side of the sexy ne, sexy. Sexiness. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it's a challenge. I I know I like maybe to. I have to to try. I don't know. I always I I made just gay film until now. So I don't know. But you're already working on the next. Yeah, one. yeah. But it's a gay, very very important in the film. Okay. It's a, a a gay changes everything. <laughs> but it's not the 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 main character, of course. Okay. And what about the queer film situation in Argentina? I mean, in the last years, I had the feeling that there were quite a lot of movies coming from Argentina to Europe, like XXY yeah. or El Ultimo, uh, The Last Summer of La Buita, I think yes. it's called in English. And yeah, how come there are so many queer movies? Do you have any ideas why that is? I don't know, I think the, the country is open, the mind. Mm -hmm. in, in, it's, it's, it's happening two things. In one way, I think it's... Uh, 
is some of the directors and some of the, the movies are very honest, are very like, okay, like for me I feel it's plan B, like I want to tell about that. If you like, okay, if you don't like, you, you don't even have to think about if it's gay or not. It's a movie. But also it's a kind of passion. It's like, okay, we have to make this film with the one gay or maybe two girls, like something going to happen. And I don't know, it's, it's both. It's first some directors that are open mind to, to tell what they want to tell. And in another side, it's like everywhere is fashion to be gay or fashion to have a gay friend. So they say, okay, let's, gay, le let's do a gay movie and we are going to, to, to be around with our gay movie, so I don't know, it's both. Mm -hmm. And do you have the feeling that you're challenging politics with your movies? If I change in politics? Challenging, so that you, that you put things into debate with your movies. Uh, yes, maybe in the society. I think uh, always you, when you, you make something, you make the people think in a way. I was very lucky with Plan B because I made a movie in the same year like the, the law for getting married between men and women uh, was out in my country. So it was kind of in the same, in the same moment. But I don't know if I change. I know I can, personally I think I can, or, or I prefer to say I can change uh, people in particular. I know people like wrote to me about after uh, Plan B and blah blah. Like they feel they they could change something or, or they could feel like somebody understood them or or told the story they wanted to to tell because it was their story. But I I, I don't think I don't make this kind of film like change in a in a big scale. So I, I am very happy if I can change. Maybe one person in Japan like say, oh wow, that happened to me, or I feel like, like that movie. This is very important for me. Yeah, and I think big changes come from small changes as yeah. well. Yeah, this is true also. Yeah. Well, um, thank you very much thank for the interview. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have fun at the Berlinale and have fun in Berlin. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks.